Okay, a quick description of the Hobby King HK T4AV2 transmitter and receiver. This is a budget unit, but it's quite good. The uh, basic parts that come out of the box, the transmitter, the receiver, the bind plug. It's 2.4 gigahertz, so you've got a small antenna like so. It's, uh, this particular one's a mode 1, so you've got throttle or sail winch there, and that would be steering. Trims there, there, there and there. Power switch, bind button, and the opportunity to reverse all four channels, or any of the four channels that are imaginatively called rudder, rudder throttle, elevator and aileron. The unit comes without batteries, of course. Uh, you need to add batteries to it to make it go. This one I have added eight Turnigy LSDs because I really like those. That's the battery cover that obviously fits over there. Quick demonstration on how to bind it so that builds the connection between this transmitter and this receiver. Under normal circumstances, of course, we always power the transmitter before we power the receiver. When you're going to bind it, you go the opposite way around. So we have a battery pack, four of the same batteries to give us uh, 4.8 volts in this particular case, which is any amount. The bind button. The bind button goes on the battery terminal, the one marked battery, like so. We then connect the battery pack up to it. It's important that the battery pack should have the negative on this side, the black on that side. So it's that way around, like that. We connect it up and you can see as soon as it's connected the little light starts getting very excited, flashing away, waiting for somebody to come and find it. We leave the receiver in that mode like that. We now hold down the bind button, switch the unit on, and you can see that the bind light on the receiver is now on solid. When we disconnect the plug, put the battery back in the correct place, it now comes up and no light at all. Turn the transmitter off and back on, and there it is. The light's on solid, it's now bound between these two. To prove the binding, let's connect the servo. You might notice this one's got a brown wire. The brown wire is the negative on those. We'll connect that on channel 1. Channel 1's hopefully steering, and means that somehow here, if I move one of these around, there we are. It provides the opportunity to actually control it, so that's uh, channel 1 in this particular case. Channel 2 is that, that axis there. Channel 3 would be that one. And channel 4, let me guess. Must be side to side on the, the other one, isn't it? That one. Hooray! That's it. I've bound it. It's all good.